Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your girl V Sharif and I'm coming to you live from San Diego, California. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Today is a financial tip. I want to share this with you because the holidays are coming up and some of us love to buy gifts and that's okay. Everyone doesn't celebrate holidays. I myself, I do not um, do anything that is a fi financial burden on me or my household. But that's myself. Um, I just don't like to put myself in binds that take me another year to get out of. Me personally, what I do now the tax time is coming up and here's the actual financial tip. So tax time is coming up. And what I do is when I get my return, the first thing I do is put that check in the bank or have it deposited in the bank. As soon as it clears, I run to the post office with my debit card because the post office is the only place that you can actually use a debit card to buy money orders. I add up certain bills and I say, okay, I'm going to pay my car insurance off. I'm going to get one, two, or three months in advance of rent. And I do that. And I pay utilities. I'll pay extra in utilities, like maybe 100, 150 in utilities. And that's about three or four months for me. Water, I need about two, 300 in water because my water bill is about 65 a month. And that's actually like literally enjoying everything. Um, taking a hot shower for 20 minutes that whole month washing dishes putting them in the dish you know the dishwasher whatever you know washing my hair for 30 minutes taking a shower then following it with a bath you know all of that like really you know 65 dollars is really when we just you know just enjoy the whole entire you know household we don't have to worry about warding the plants and things like that that's on a timer so that was my financial tip for that get bills and pay ahead now what i do with gifts I, I keep things on hand. When Bath & Body Works has their sale, I buy tons of Bath & Body Works. I probably spent, last year when they had their Christmas sale, I spent in total probably $150 in products. But guess what? Throughout that whole year, that's what everybody got. They got Bath & Body Works that whole year, honey. Birthday, happy birthday, Bath & Body Works. Uh, happy anniversary, Bath & Body Works. Um, whatever you had, Bath and Body Works. You had a baby shower, Bath and Body Works. And then the baby got maybe some towels or something like that or some diapers. But I'm just not one that's willing to go in financial debt for, um, you know, anyone. For my, myself, for my family, for my children, anything like that. I'm not going into financial debt and I'm going to put a burden on myself. I'm not going to do that. So that is my tip financially as far as getting ahead the next tip i have get bonds get bonds from the bank the lowest one they have was well, the bank that i was with which was bbva compass i'm with wells fargo now and um a few other ones you know you gotta have different accounts you gotta have you know different accounts with different people i ain't gonna take my whole life but anyway you know so with um i know for a fact with bbva compass you could get 500 hundred dollar bonds and you couldn't cash it until I think it was six months, six, nine, and 12 months. So that way you always had that $500. You did the $500 minimum. You you did that. Now, I don't know about interest occurring, you know, accruing and all of that. And sometimes that doesn't matter because the thing is at least you have $500 put away. Sometimes you can't get a brownie for everything that you do. Everything isn't about getting an extra dollar. Sometimes it's about just holding on to the money that you have. So that is that tip financially. Another tip, you can always get um, the American Express Bluebird card. You can let someone else keep it for you, like your mother, a family member. You can lock it in a safe that needs two keys, a combination and a key. You can do that. You can safe deposit box, any of those things. You can put it in an envelope. You can give that envelope to a family member, a friend, someone nearby have it addressed back to you and have it sent to you during that time. If you feel that you still won't be able to handle it after that, cut it up and get a new one and do the same thing for next year. So that that's some things that I do because when you have your own business, you just never know what month is going to be a good month, what time. we You know, there's holiday time. There, there's just times when organic products sell and there's times when they don't. Come January up into about Mother's Day, people are getting back on track financially. So buying, you know, from someone else is just not financially what, what people are thinking of. They are trying to get back on track. But one way to stay on track is to start paying some things off, pay your car insurance off. 
that's usually anywhere from two to five hundred dollars you know six hundred dollars for the year um the reason why i said two because that's usually for six months so do that pay it off just if you don't if you've already if it's so low then just get those last two or three payments and maybe pay that off try not to carry so many small payments of things and anything large definitely go ahead and pay that off only do the 90 days same as cash if you're getting new furniture or something like that do 90 days same as cash go to places that don't add on all this interest and all these different um penalties stay away from companies that always want you to get a credit card the whole point is to get out of debt not to get more in debt so if you are it's good to have a credit card or two but definitely you know they only want you to have only 35 percent of the credit use so what's the point so if you have a credit card with a thousand dollar limit they don't want to see you use more than three hundred dollars unless you're going to pay it off so it really doesn't make any sense when it comes to that so definitely that is my tip for today on finances once again it's your girl v sharif and this is my segment valora says it as you know if you're just now joining my channel I write under the name V. Sharif, but I am your co-host on The Real for Life show, Valora Black, and my segment is Valora Says It, so Valora has said it. Like, comment, and subscribe. We are on every Wednesday night from 5 to 6 Central Standard, no, 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 5 to 6 Pacific Standard Time, 7 to 8 Central Standard Time. That's why I hate to give out the times. You know, I get everything all confused and everything like that, and I never do the Eastern Time. You're just going to have to take it from there, because usually what we do is we give out where the hosts are from. So that is where, where the timing comes in, and the rest you just got to figure it out for yourself. Well, I'm going to have to write this stuff down, because the next thing you know, I'll be doing a doing it talking about, oh, and in Paris, we're, we're on this one, and then in this time, I, I don't have time for all that. So, um, yes, please listen. If you want to call in live, it is 805-309-0111, access code 840-360-POUND, and you can listen in. Please go to www.haramberadio.com. You will hear so many different things where it's just an upliftment for the community. Uh, most of our teachings is based on Marcus Garvey. Uh, Malcolm X, Huey P. Newton, you know, it's really, it, it's really just trying to empower the um, black community. And loving yourself does not mean that you hate anyone else. Please understand that this is, has nothing to do with hating another race at all. Sometimes we need to talk and we need to handle some issues that we are going through within our own selves. And um, sometimes, you know, woman to woman, sister to sister, we just have to share certain things and um, talk about those things so you you won't be bashed there is no racial conflict or anything like that we do not allow it we will not allow it no one another race will not come on our show and then start saying well you people do this and you people do that and we will not be bashing another race fighting back and forth our show is not a ignorant show it is not a show where we argue we don't talk about what Kanye West designed um, we don't talk about what Beyonce is singing we don't talk about things like that that is just um everyday BS we do, we do not talk about everyday BS we will edutain you we will educate you and entertain you at the same time so um you know yeah I'm, I'm funny I'm quirky I'm dorky I'm all of those things but I also know how to get serious when it's um when we're talking about facts when we're really just just speaking from a conscious level and we are talking about things to uplift you and encourage you i am definitely there for that so i like to do the small the you know the short videos and as my channel grows and as i get different you know better equipment then i will be able to do 15 minute segments and things like that but i don't like to do long segments with me moving this phone up and down and, and and trying to you know make sure i get the right lighting and, and all it's just it's a pain right now so please bear with me. I am working on my lighting and then I'm trying to hold, you know, my head right and stuff because to be honest with you, nobody wants to look tacky on, you know, tacky on TV. Let's just face it. You know, it might be YouTube. It might be on the Internet, but still somebody might get your video and share it with somebody else. And then here you are looking tacky and raggedy. You know, they can't wait. They cannot wait to take that and spread it all around town. Oh my God, look at Valora looking like she homeless. 
And she talking about finances. She needs to take her finances and buy a new shirt or a new ponytail or a new wig. That's the stuff I'm talking about. So these are things that we need to start talking about in our community, just amongst us as women with just the hating and all of that. Why can't we love and encourage one another? Now, I said this was going to be a short video, didn't I? It's already 10 minutes. So anyway, I just want to know why can't we love and encourage, you know, one another instead of always hating on each other. And I'll just share this one last story. I have a, um, a really, really, really good friend. I call her my forever friend. And my forever friend got married 10 years ago. And I am just so happy for her and her husband. I, I, I saw them just go through their ups and downs. And now they are up and I love it. I love, love on them. I honestly do. I love it. They really make you, you know, see, they, they make you um, want to get married. They, they do. And I was telling her, I said, girl, I hope you don't think that um, when I'm, you know, that I'm being funny or anything. When I find, you know, different trips or something, I might find a trip, a wine tour. It could be a boat tour or something. And I'll send it to her and say, oh, y'all need to do this and share pictures. I really want to see the pictures. I really do love seeing them happy. I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't look at it and think, oh, I wish I had that or anything like that. I mean, yeah, someday I do want to get married, but until I meet a person that I want to spend time with, I'm not hating on nobody else doing it. When I see other people doing it, I'm like, oh, that's cute. And I keep on moving. You know, I don't want what you have. I'm just not that type of person that's jealous. I've grown out of that because I'm so busy worrying about me and what I'm doing. So this was one of those segments, Valora Says It. I know I had, you know, it was, it was Valora Says It. And then it started out as being a financial tip. Then it moved into a little tiny rant and rave. So anyway, I'm going to come back with another rant and rave. I, I think I'm going to do a, a car vlog because I do have to get going. I just wanted to share a little bit of something with you and hope you can use that tip that tax time is coming up. And be careful during Christmas, you guys. Don't start buying a lot of stuff that that um, that just isn't needed. You know, really think about that. Don't Don't buy for any of these greedy people that aren't your children and that aren't your family members that truly have given back and encouraged you and helped you when you needed. Don't go trying to show out at the office and buying the boss some Dior cologne and Dior, you know, and, and Chanel perfume and things like that. Don't, don't do any of that. Um, get, if you just got to give a gift, if you just so afraid of somebody thinking that you're the Grinch, get gift cards, get $5 Starbucks gift cards. Um, I mean, when you go to the grocery store, there's so many gift cards there. That is like where I shop. I go to the gift card se section and shop my butt off. That is where I get gift cards from. My kids on down because I don't think it's tacky to give money. You can give me some money, okay? Give me some money. You want to give me some money? Give me, give me some money. Give me a gift card. Give me something I can use. I like coffee. Um, I like gas. I like groceries. I like toilet paper. I like paper towels. I like hygienic items. Please insult me and give me all of those things. Because that is the silliest crap I've ever heard. Oh, it's insulting to give someone soap or to give someone sanitary items or to give someone perfume. You're, you're saying that they stink. Honey, tell me I stink. I don't care. Because you're lying. I know I'm saying. But you can give me perfume. You can give me toothpaste. You can give me anything you want to give me. Nail polish, socks. I like it. I want it. I want it. I want it. And you don't want to give to nobody that's ungrateful anyway. See, I'm a grateful person. I know how to be grateful. If you wanted me to wear another ponytail, and you said, Valor, I don't like that ponytail. Well, buy me a new one, girl. They only $9.99. And if you got it like that, go and share it like that. Well, looky here. Here I am. Actually, I'm about to do my first 15-minute video. Well, wow. I can go. I'm telling y'all, I can talk. I, I can go. That's why I love YouTube. It is just, it's where I just share my feelings and share my emotions and where I can just be me. I'm also on the Real for Life show. So, y'all, I do it. I share, you know, Valora says it. Valora says it real. Valora brings it to you raw. Okay, so y'all can call in, you can listen in. Now, one thing I will tell you about our show, our show, we do not fight, we do not debate on our show. Just everyday BS is not allowed. Our show, we share facts, and um, we're not going to argue with you about a facts. We will tell you know about facts. 
we will tell you where you can find it or hey google it just like i googled it you can google it but we will not sit there and debate with you we will not fight with you or anything like that it is up to you once the information is dropped it is up to you to pick it up we do not beg you to you know do what you need to do um, i'm not trying to live forever i'm just trying to live good while i'm here so that's my whole point is um i'm going to do what i need to do so if you want to continue to drink milk and give your children milk that's fine, but just know that your child is not going to grow up to be a 600-pound cow. That is what that's meant for. When that baby cow is born, he's 300 pounds, and that mother's milk is made for him to become a 600-pound cow. Too much calcium hardens the bones, hardens the bones. So you don't fall and break your hip. Your hip breaks and you fall. Too much calcium actually makes brittle bones. So those are a few facts that I wanted to share with you. We went to financial. We clowned a little bit. We laughed a little bit. Let's hope we ain't cry a little bit. Ain't nothing to cry over. Unless you one of those ones that's going to buy all that crap for Christmas. You ought to be crying because here comes your season where you're going to be the office nut. So you're going to come in with all this mess that you can't afford. And then you're going to be crying come January. So I am going to get out of here and my next vlog will be a car vlog because I got to go, y'all. All right, I just took this time to um, chat with you. Love you, YouTube. Hotel. Peace out.